As the dust begins to settle, the party begins as we arrive at Estadio Azteca in Mexico City, Mexico for one of the biggest Friday Night Smackdowns of all time. It is Super Smackdown with a high profile main event on hand. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller have held the WWE Tag Team title since WrestleMania Sunday in March, but Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar return to familiar soils, look to bring home the gold on behalf of the LWO. But we kick things off here at Super SmackDown. 50,000 plus on hand as the King of the Ring Tournament continues. Taking down the Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough two weeks ago in the first round. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes is looking to move one step closer to punching his ticket for a World Championship match this August at SummerSlam. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! The last time Cody Rhodes walked down the aisle at a premium live event, was on Saturday night, May the 4th at Battleground, when he came up short in the steel cage to the apex predator, Randy Orton. Ever since then, we have talked about how Cody Rhodes is looking to refocus on a bit of a redemption tour in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament. Cody Rhodes already making it through the first round, but will the odds be stacked against him tonight? One-on-one -on -one with Mexico's own El Idolo Andrade, but I don't know if this 50,000 plus is really gonna be warm welcoming a man who was dissing the LWO over the last few months. All remains to be seen as we kick things off from Estadio Azteca. And his opponent from Gomez Palacio Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 210 pounds, Andrea! A little bit of a mixed reaction here from the 50,000 strong here in Mexico City. Andrade may be wrestling on familiar soil, but his actions over the last few months on SmackDown have turned many against him. Andrade fighting alone here tonight. But of course, this is a quarterfinal bout in the King of the Ring Tournament. We found out this past Monday Night on Raw that Braun Breaker will meet CM Punk a week from tomorrow in the semifinals. But who will meet the winner of Andrade and Cody Rhodes? Will we find that out later tonight here at Super SmackDown when the Czar, Ilya Dragunov, takes on the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. We will know our SmackDown side of the semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament by the evening's end. I am super excited for tonight. One of the biggest SmackDowns of all time. Certainly the biggest of 2024 thus far. 50,000 on hand for an historic event. Estadio Azteca, beautiful stadium here in Mexico City, Mexico. And what bigger way to kick things off on what is going to be a high stakes night of action on SmackDown. So with a quarterfinal bout in the King of the Ring tournament, El Idolo, Andrade, one on one with the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Andrade taking down Chad Gable in an incredible matchup two weeks ago as well. Rhodes and Andrade with two weeks to rest and two weeks to prepare, but it wasn't enough time to make a right blueprint and execute on it here tonight. All remains to be seen as the evening begins here in Mexico City. The bell has sounded and the party is just getting started here on Super Smackdown. I'm going to thank you for joining us live across the globe as Cody Rhodes and Andrade continue us forward in the King of the Ring tournament. As we mentioned moments ago, we found out this past Monday night on Raw that the second city, St. CM Punk, will take on the certified badass known as Braun Breaker. In the semifinals a week from tomorrow in New Orleans, Louisiana, who will be wrestling on the SmackDown side of the bracket? We find out 
by tonight's evening. Meanwhile, Andrade trying to start this matchup on his own accord. Cody Rhodes tilt to whirl face first off the canvas. You know, we mentioned a bit of a mixed reaction here for Andrade. You think it'd be a homecoming for that man here in Mexico City, but I think a lot of the audience here tonight really rubbed the wrong way with Andrade's recent actions over the last few months ever since his SmackDown return. Really trying to infiltrate the orders of the Latino world order. Trying to separate Rey Mysterio from that unit. Obviously did not work out from Andrade. Rey Mysterio alongside Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wilde defeating Andrade. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller in a big six-man tag team match last month on SmackDown. I think Andrade has tried to refocus on the king of the ring ever since. And his night may be coming to an end shortly as Cody Rhodes off the scoop of a slam. Not just yet was a victory. The American Nightmare's wheels are a spin in. And a little springboard to the outside. Got enough of it to knock Andrade off the soles of his boots. You know, Cody Rhodes, over the last year on Friday Night SmackDown, has seen the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Last year at SummerSlam, defeated the man who is currently the World Heavyweight Champion, Guther, for the United States Championship. Cody Rhodes giving Guther his one and only loss here on Friday Night SmackDown since his debut in December of 2022. But given the heights of that victory one year ago, Cody Rhodes is also seen, as we mentioned, the lowest of lows. Punt kicked by Randy Orton, put on the shelf for damn near a month coming out of that steel cage match at Battleground. Something that we talked about two weeks ago with Cody Rhodes and even the Apex Predator Randy Orton. That's a rivalry that seemingly will be never-ending between those two men. At some point, somebody had to move on. And after two consecutive victories for the Apex Predator Randy Orton, Orton taking on his own path, Cody Rhodes finding a new way in the King of the Ring tournament. I'm sure there is unfinished business in the mind of the American Nightmare. But right now, there is other task at hand. Throwing a couple hands at Andrade, going for the little schoolboy here, not just yet. It's gonna be an awesome night of action here on SmackDown as Andrade takes down Cody Rhodes. Of course, another homecoming at hand. Raquel Rodriguez, Women's World Championship, will not be on the line, but it is a Mexico City street fight as Raquel looks to settle the score with a ballsy, badass Shotzi, somebody who's been on her tail for months. And by the end of tonight, we will determine Raquel's next number one contender for the Women's World Championship as Io Sky goes one-on-one -on -one with Roxanne Perez in the finals of the Eliminator that has been taking place over the last several of weeks here on SmackDown. Of course, all that action. Ilya dragging off Drew McIntyre in the quarterfinal matchup as well. And a massive main event on hand as the Latino World Order challenges A-Town down under for the WWE Tag Team Championship. A WrestleMania rematch three months in the making. Andrade's got Cody Rhodes in the corner. And whether Andrade has the support of his home crowd or not, I don't think he gives a damn. He is focused on the task at hand. An incredible showing against Chad Gable two weeks ago. But will that be enough? Will that momentum be enough to ride into tonight to take down Cody? That is the question. Cody Rhodes sidestepping that drop kick by Andrade a few moments ago. He's relied on that a couple of times throughout this matchup as he has done recently on the blue brand. Cody obviously reading Andrade's playbook. Now the American Nightmare moments after delivering a drop kick of his own delivers a couple of closed fists. Cody Rhodes never afraid to break things down into a brawl if need be. Andrade may be fighting on familiar soil but I think this capacity crowd came unglued would have blew the roof off this stadium if there was one for the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Their support may be behind the man in the white tonight. Meanwhile, Andrade does not give a damn about the support. Has been relying on that springboard drop kick throughout the King of the Ring tournament, and it once again aids him. Just like that, Andrade taking back control of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Now Cody in trouble on the top. Elevation DDT by El Idolo. And that could do it here in Mexico City. Not just yet, Cody Rhodes is still alive. 
The winner of this matchup will meet the winner of tonight's Drew McIntyre and Ilya Dragunov encounter. Mexico City loud and proud whether they're in support of Andrade or not. Andrade is in firm control of this match. Heading to the top rope. Frog splash delivers. And that's going to do it. Andrade's moving on to New Orleans. Maybe not as Cody Rhodes muscles up Andrade. Frustration starting to pour out of the soul of El Idolo. A combination of maneuvers does not do the trick. And now El Idolo dishing back those closed fists to the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. King of the ring going down a week from tomorrow in Smoothie King Center, New Orleans, Louisiana. Both of these men looking to punch their ticket to the semifinal. And now Cody Rhodes off the reversal. Pedigree! Will that do it? And credit where credit's due, Andrade able to survive one of Cody Rhodes' best maneuvers. Noticed Andrade seemed like he went for a pun kick. Cody Rhodes might have been seeing flashbacks to Battleground, able to sidestep it and then deliver that pedigree. Now similar position that Cody was in moments ago, hoisted on the top rope, face first on the canvas. Neither men seeing a conclusion they so hoped for yet, but obvious damage has been done. Can Cody Rhodes keep the momentum on his side? Andrade sent to the corner. There's another reversal that time. These two men, I am sure, studied up on each other's game plans over the last two weeks. Once again, Cody wrapped up in the ropes, and Andrade making him pay for it. In a moment's, moment's eye, Andrade, look at that. Able to get back into this contest. Nice takedown going back to the top rope where he is obviously comfortable. Swords to the skies, going for it, looked like a lariat, but a massive counter by Cody Rhodes. Never bet against the prodigal son. And Andrade back into the corner. Now back on the top rope, but not the place he wants to be with Cody Rhodes in the driver's seat. A crash and burn moments ago, and now look at Cody. The strength being shown as Andrade is hoisted to the sun of Mexico City. And able to get the shoulder up as Mexico City once again coming alive for the efforts of Cody Rhodes. Got to give credit where credit's due again. Andrade continuing to survive some of Cody's best offense. Going back to the well with the drop kick. That has aided Andrade time and time again, not just tonight, but it also did two weeks ago against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable as Andrade putting some steam behind that fist. Just like that, Andrade is back in control. In the blink of an eye, these two men are switching the momentum, and it's coming from their most powerful maneuvers. They're digging down deep, trying to cross the finish line first and move on to King of the Ring to the semifinals. A week from tomorrow, back in the States, in New Orleans, Louisiana. Andrade sending Cody for a run. There's been moments throughout this opening contest where it looked like Andrade had the recipe for success. There's been moments where we thought Cody Rhodes put it away. But now it is Andrade once again in the driver's seat wrestling his style of matchup. Oh, man. Big time knee. A knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Friday. Oh, my God. lights may have been turned off. Andrade needs to hustle up into the cover. There he goes. Will that be all she wrote? Maybe not just yet. Cody Rhodes with a little bit more story to be written. Man, what a maneuver by Andrade. The cartwheel into the Pele kick. Could have been going for the Hammerlock DDT. Cody Rhodes able to avoid disaster. A signature shot to the jawline that the Rhodes family has made famous. Andrade to the ropes again, and he finds a knee for his troubles. 
Back on the outside here, Andrade. Looking to create some distance, but Cody Rhodes closes the gap. Who wants it more? A chance to move on to the semifinals, getting you one step closer to not only wearing the crown of the king and etching your name in the annals of history, but made of any SummerSlam for your brand's world championship this coming August. Andrade just trying to get his wits about him after that disaster kick. Cody Rhodes right on his tail. Down goes Alita Lowe. And back into the cover, Cody feeling confident. But may have been too confident. Not enough damage somehow done to keep Alita Lowe down. Oh, and great counter by Andrade. Catching Cody Rhodes. Frankensteiner just shows you the agility of Cody's opposer tonight. As Andrade once again showing it, and once again, just as we started this matchup, tilt to world Cody face first off the canvas. Nothing pretty about that. Andrade just getting down and dirty. Cody on the outside here, and it's Andrade this time with the tope suicida, giving Cody Rhodes a taste of his own medicine. And Cody is looking worse for wear now at ringside. That flurry of offense by Cody a few moments ago may have been his last shot. As Andrade is looking to put the exclamation point on this contest. Going for a second frog splash. Twas not to be delivered. And Andrade trying to hustle through the pain, trying to let the adrenaline fuel him. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Cody Rhodes with not enough, and not enough, excuse me, in the tank to capitalize that time. We got two engines, two vehicles, filled with gas at the top of this matchup. They are getting close to E. Who's got enough to cross the finish line and win this race? Andrade once again taken down as momentum starts to swing back and forth like a pendulum between the Alitalo and the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes once again delivers in a disaster kick. Going back to the well with what works. Cody Rhodes with his eyes locked. Now wait a minute. Inside cradle here. Cody Rhodes trying to sneak the cover. Not to be. And win, lose, or draw. This is one hell of a matchup. This is what the King of the Ring tournament is all about. This is what the opportunity means to these two superstars. A second pedigree. Cody a little slow to capitalize this time. He's still got his eyes locked on Andrade. What is the American Nightmare? Got in mind. A counter by Alito. Man, what is it going to take to keep one of these two superstars down? Another reversal. Back and forth we go. Once more, Cody Crossroads. Andrade tried to avoid at any at all cost, but he got caught, and the American Nightmare is heading to New Orleans. What a matchup to kick things off here at Estadio Azteca. El Idolo Andrade surviving Cody Rhodes' best numerous at times throughout this matchup. Avoided the crossroads all he could, but Cody Rhodes got a hold, and Cody Rhodes is moving on. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! The roads to redemption for Cody Rhodes continue to push forward. And as the King of the Ring Tournament progresses, we now know that the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes is moving on to Smoothie King Center next Saturday night. But who will meet him there? Will it be the Czar, Ilya Dragunov, or will it be the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre? Well, we want to take you back to a few weeks ago on SmackDown, the New Day in tag team action against the Trick Mellow Gang. This matchup really stemming from Kofi Kingston and Carmelo Hayes' similar interest in gaining the United States Championship against Ricochet. 
Well, a tag team matchup did not go the way for the Trick Mellow Gang as the New Day, the veterans of the duo's affair, giving a loss to Trick Williams and Mellow on that night. Well, Carmelo Hayes not sitting well with that loss and has challenged any member of the New Day for next Wednesday on Velocity. And we now know he will take on Xavier Woods. It's Mello and Woods only on TikTok next Wednesday afternoon only on Velocity. But who is going to be the number one contender for the Women's World Championship? We find out right here, right now. The genius of the sky, EO Sky, coming down the aisle here in Estadio Azteca, hoping to finally achieve an opportunity at the women's world title. Turning away the challenge of the shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox, two weeks ago, EO Sky, just as Roxanne Perez, deserving of this opportunity. But only one woman can move on to a week from tomorrow in New Orleans, Louisiana at the King of the Ring event to challenge Raquel Rodriguez for the Women's World Championship. Of course, Raquel with her own issues to settle later tonight in a Mexico City street fight against the ballsy badass Shotzi. A victory for Shotzi could definitely interfere with the World, World Women's World Championship plans, but nonetheless, Io Sky and Roxanne Perez have earned their right to be here, but who will earn their right to move on to New Orleans, Louisiana? And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez! Roxanne Perez with a huge upset against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, seven nights ago. It was not an easy task, but Perez shocking the world, hitting that pop rocks out of nowhere to keep down the Empress. And now Roxanne Perez returning to Mexico City tonight, somewhere she is very familiar with. Had that home state advantage in Texas last week, not too far from where we are on tonight. Roxanne Perez may be feeling a little bit more comfortable than EO Sky here in Estadio Azteca. But nonetheless, the similar goal, similar interest. Who is going to move on to King of the Ring? We find out right here, right now, on a high-profile evening at Super SmackDown. It's the finals of the Eliminator that has taken place over the last several of weeks. Roxanne Perez, EO Sky, two women on the cusp of great success here on SmackDown. Who moves one step forward? Both former NXT Women's Champions. EO Sky, somebody who we've talked about been right underneath of Raquel Rodriguez over the last year. On the cusp of really breaking out here on the blue brand. And Ra Raquel, of course, finding a little bit more success. Went in the Elimination Chamber earlier this year. Going at Shayna Baszler at WrestleMania. And then finally defeating Baszler for the Women's World Championship. Last month at Battleground. Meanwhile, ES Guy has just been trying to build some momentum for herself. As consistently as she can here on SmackDown. And this Eliminator has obviously worked out in her favor so far, but will it continue to work out here tonight? The Air Sky, I'm sure, would love to take down Raquel Rodriguez and become the Women's World Champion. Easier said than done, but first, Io's got to worry about Roxanne Perez here tonight, and so far, so good for the genius of the sky. Better not get cocky, better not get arrogant. Roxanne Perez upset Asuka last week, and who's to say she can't upset Io Sky here tonight? Roxanne spent the last year of her main roster career ever since leaving NXT on Monday Night Raw. Things really not going the best way for Roxanne, although she started to make a couple of waves throughout 2024. Drafted to Friday Night SmackDown, and it's been so far so good, maybe up until tonight, when she might have just got her lights turned off by EO Sky. Roxanne barely getting to her feet, and now EO's gonna make her pay off the spin kick. EO Sky is so sharp in between the ropes, outside of them and on top of them. So many ways to beat you. EO Sky, a dangerous threat for not only Roxanne Perez, but the women's world champion, Raquel Rodriguez. Then to the cover once more to become the number one contender, not just yet. Not discount Roxanne Perez. Ever since coming to Friday Night SmackDown, of course, the upset 
against Asuka last week. And stood alongside Tegan Knox and Raquel Rodriguez last month on SmackDown in a big six-woman tag team match against Shotzi Zoe Stark and the former women's champion Shayna Baszler. Roxanne Perez looking to take the next step in her Friday night SmackDown career. He could certainly do so by winning here tonight. Nice tope suicide to the outside. And although Io Sky, more of the veteran in this contest, Roxanne Perez making a wise decision moments ago, not rushing into the tope, waited till Io got to her feet, struck while the iron was hot. And now trying to continue to wear down Io Sky at ringside, but may have been a little naive to try to do that while Io Sky has got something left in the tank. Just squashing Perez. Here in Estadio Azteca in front of 50,000 strong. Perez back inside the ring. I don't know what games Io Sky is trying to play here, but Perez is playing right into them. Oh no, suplex to the outside. Io Sky dishing the same suplex that Roxanne Perez used on Asuka seven nights ago. All is fair in love and war, and Io Sky looking to leave no stone unturned to try to become the number one contender. Man, Roxanne Perez only a one count that time. You gotta give credit to the former NXT Women's Champion. Roxanne's just trying to find a way back into this matchup here in Mexico City. Page Turner, oh my! Io Sky down and Roxanne Perez may have found her window of opportunity. Oh no! Io's down! Pop Rocks! Cover her! The same way she defeated Asuka last week! Going for the upset here! Not just yet! Oh man, that was close. Io Sky kicking out much to the chagrin of this Mexico City audience. Well, Roxanne not looking to get discouraged. Looking to keep the confidence high and the pressure on. The Pop Rocks may not have done it, but if she continues to stack this offense, Roxy's going to be one step closer to becoming the number one contender. Almost had Io Sky caught. And what a competitive matchup we have on hand as Perez looking to become the number one contender. Usually it's Io Sky taking things in the air, but that time it was Perez. And her eyes locked on Io. Nice counter by the veteran. Another reversal. Io Sky lands on her feet. Quick as a cat, Io Sky can be at times. Not only knows how to take it to the air, but also knows how to land when she needs to. Roxanne Perez just eating Io's soles of her boots. And out goes down, looking for the cross face inside the squared circle. Roxanne Perez in trouble. Able to roll Io Sky off of her. As the pendulum of momentum starts to swing between these two women in this contest, live here at Super SmackDown. Now it's Perez with the upper hand. Going for a near fall. Perez has got to realize that she's going to have to do more damage to Io Sky. There you go. The Pop Rocks didn't do it. Some great offense by Roxanne has not done it just yet. Obviously, the fatigue going to start to set in at some point. The momentum going to stack. Roxanne's just trying to keep her foot on the gas pedal, but EO Sky not looking to allow it. Takes the rug right out from underneath her feet. And now a nice dragon screw. Down goes Perez once more. Io Sky can be vicious inside of that squared circle as Roxanne is finding out firsthand. Oh no, what a German into the bridge. Not just yet, Perez is still alive, but how much is realistically left in the tank? Guess never count out Roxanne. Back and forth we start to go again, into the arm drag this time. And it's another near fall in this number one contender's bout. And Raquel Rodriguez, who's got Shotzi coming up next here on Super SmackDown, may be keeping a close eye on this contest and wondering, man, I hope Shotzi doesn't take too much out of me tonight because I'm going to have a fight no matter who wins this matchup a week from tomorrow at Smoothie King Center. 
Near Sky off the reversal, springboard missile drop kick. Io knows how to deliver the strikes, knows how to hit hard and hit fast. But her best offense comes when her feet are off the ground. And now Perez brought into the corner, not by will, but by force of the opposer. Io Sky just starting to have her way with Roxanne. This is what Io Sky wants, just wants to wear down Roxanne Perez at any and all cost. Double knees! The life getting taken out of Roxanne Perez that time. Just trying to collapse the chest cavity. Roxanne Perez is in prime position. Io going to the top. Looking for it over. The moon soul. The genius of the sky connects. And Io is on her way to King of the Ring. A great effort by Roxanne Perez, but unable to capitalize off her upset against Asuka last week. Io Sky crushing her championship desires. Here is your winner, Io Sky! Raquel Rodriguez, challenger for the Women's World Championship, officially determined. Raquel going one-on-one -on -one with the genius of the sky, Io Sky, coming up a week from tomorrow in New Orleans, Louisiana, at the King of the Ring. What a matchup here at Super SmackDown. Well, we are moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for a Mexico City Street Fight. The ballsy badass Shotzi has had a personal issue with Raquel Rodriguez for months. An issue that stems even farther than just the Women's World Championship. We're going to talk all about it momentarily as coming up next, the ballsy badass Shotzi is one on one with the champion herself, Raquel Rodriguez. As Raquel returns to Mexico City, it's a street fight live here at Estadio Azteca on Super Smackdown. Stay with us, it's coming up next. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Brawl and SmackDown race to the finish line on velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us and you haven't seen anything yet don't miss velocity every single wednesday only on TikTok. well we've taken a look recently at the history between the cruiserweight champion jd mcdonough and the man who has been on his tail Wesley. It all started the first SmackDown of the season in Philadelphia when JD McDonough sidelined Wesley in his pursuit of the Cruiserweight title. Of course, last month at Battleground, JD McDonough, the last man standing against Ilya Dragunov and able to obtain the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. All that happening while Wesley was forced to watch from the sidelines. Well, recently, Wesley returned to the blue brand and he has put a target the size of Eagles on the back of the Irish Devil. And ever since then, Wesley has been laser focused on qualifying himself, building momentum to become the number one contender and earn an opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship. A couple of weeks ago on Velocity, taking down Angel Garza in an incredible matchup from both sides of the squared circle. And then just last week, Wesley with a huge victory over the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. And you really see that JD McDonough is starting to worry about the man building momentum. Wesley celebrating his victory, but not to be. After JD McDonough ambushed him with said cruiserweight title. 
Well, all roads lead live next week, just 24 hours before the King of the Ring, the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough, is set to defend his Cruiserweight Championship one-on-one -on -one against Wes Lee. McDonough's first defense of the gold, Lee looking for retribution. The gold hangs in the balance live next week on SmackDown. We are back inside Estadio Azteca, and we are getting set for a Mexico City street fight. And what Raquel has told us feels like a daydream. She is back here in Mexico, representing the WWE as the Women's World Champion. Raquel Rodriguez, extremely proud of her Latino heritage, and I'm sure feels like a fever dream walking down the aisle in front of 50,000 strong here at Super SmackDown. One of the faces of the blue brand as the women's world champion. But tonight, that title is not on the line. Tonight, it is anything goes, falls count anywhere as Raquel looks to settle the score against the ballsy badass Shotzi. Shotzi has been a thorn in the side of Raquel for months. As Raquel was focusing on challenging for that gold, Shotzi has just been the, the cockroach that just won't go away no matter how many times Raquel has defeated her between the ropes. Well, tonight may be a different story, and as we hope to get a chance to break down the history between these two women, Shotzi looking to get the early advantage in this street fight. Shotzi obviously eyeing up the opportunity that could come with a victory tonight. Found out moments ago that EO Sky awaits Raquel Rodriguez a week from tomorrow for the Women's World Championship, but how does Shotzi play in as a factor if she can upset the champion herself in this street fight tonight? All remains to be seen as Shotzi takes things to the outside. Nice hit scissors takedown. Shotzi, a former two-time WWE Women's Champion, former Tag Team Champion as well. And looking to take things to the extreme is a woman who certainly personifies that very word. Shotzi getting a damn trash can from underneath the ring. Raquel Rodriguez just trying to get, get, get the going going in this Mexico City street fight. Raquel Rodriguez owns victories over Shotzi, but tonight would definitely be the most sweet Shotzi has been upset since the damn near beginning of 2024 that Raquel Rodriguez has skyrocketed to the top of SmackDown. Really all started in the lead up to the Elimination Chamber event several months ago. And all the women inside of the Elimination Chamber on behalf of SmackDown chosen and Shotzi was not one of those names and certainly didn't help matters that Raquel Rodriguez ended up winning the whole damn thing. Ever since then, Shotzi has been trying to tear down Raquel, stop her from winning the women's world title, which obviously failed to do so. I'm sure Raquel defeated Shayna Baszler last month at Battleground. Shotzi's fire to take down Raquel Rodriguez just became that much hotter. They were just days removed from Battleground. Raquel walking down the aisle here on SmackDown for the very first time, ambushed in the aisle way. And similar to what we just saw, thrown right into the steel steps. The night where this thing really got taken to a different level. And really the reason for this street fight rules here tonight in Mexico City. Kendo stick, trash can, Shotzi looking to take things to the extreme as she gets a table out from underneath the squared circle. Well, anything goes, I guess, and Shotzi's certainly looking to make the most of those rules. Raquel Rodriguez may not need any plunder, however, to take down the ballsy badass tonight. Raquel owns victories over Shotzi on numerous occasions over the last few months, but as we mentioned, Shotzi just will not stay down. Almost a credit to her. Raquel Rodriguez looking to finally close the book on this story tonight. Shotzi now on the receiving end of a beatdown from the Women's World Champion. And hopefully Raquel Rodriguez's mind is on the present and mind is not wandering to the events that are going to go down in New Orleans, Louisiana a week from tomorrow. Leo Sky successful moments ago, I'm sure, is recuperating in the locker room with her eyes on a monitor. 
seeing the damage that may be done tonight to the women's world champion herself. Shotzi looking for that table. Raquel Rodriguez is looking to avoid it. Disaster. And a fall away slam via the powerhouse. And back into the cover. Shotzi looks to be taking a nap here in Estadio Azteca. The shoulder off the canvas, 50,000 strong. With their eyes locked on this women's contest. Great night of action here on SmackDown so far. My goodness. Raquel Rodriguez was in the outfield and just threw the ball to home plate. Shotzi was out. At least she was momentarily. Sending Raquel off the top rope. That trash can thrown right to the dome of Shotzi from one corner to another. Might have knocked out most women, but Shotzi's already got plenty of screws loose. Somebody just woke her up. Is that a damn door? What the hell is going on? Shotzi, where the hell did she get a door? And how the hell did she sneak it under the ring? I got no words, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Mexico City street fight. We are live in front of 50,000 strong in Estadio Azteca for Super Smackdown. One of the biggest Smackdowns of all time and certainly one of the biggest of 2024. And this personal issue between Raquel and Shotzi we're gonna come to a close here tonight. Where the hell did Shotzi get a door? I, I would not be surprised if you go back and take a walk around this stadium, and, and there's a door missing off its hinges. That's the kind of deranged Shotzi is, and oh my goodness. Raquel Rodriguez using that trash can to her advantage moments after a boot right to the dome. The carnage to be expected here is Raquel Rodriguez soaring like a phoenix through Mexico City. Shotzi somehow with something left in the tank. Speaking of tanks, I'm surprised Shotzi didn't just keep her tank at ringside. Probably could have used it as a weapon in this kind of matchup. Nonetheless, Raquel Rodriguez sidestepped Shotzi. Down she goes with the neck breaker and landed right on the ridges of that table. She's going to feel that one on Saturday morning. Now meets her with a high knee. Champion down and out. This could not go well for the women's world champion who's just looking to keep her momentum strong. Not only to, by ending this story with Shotzi tonight and defeating her here in Mexico City, but on the road to that matchup with Io Sky a week from tomorrow. All eyes on the champion here tonight. Shotzi once again sending Raquel right into that door. Oh no, Raquel in trouble. Shotzi long darting Raquel right through the door. My goodness. And Raquel Rodriguez damn near not even phased. Raquel Rodriguez, she might have had a couple tequilas before this. I don't know. To be able to fight through the pain like that, she might be meeting Shotzi in the middle with a couple of screws loose. This is what Super Smackdown is all about, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell does she have now? Is that a damn flip-flop or a challo, whatever they call it? I, right to the dome of Shotzi. This is the damnedest thing I've ever seen. Raquel Rodriguez into the cover. And Shotzi getting the shoulder up. I, I'm almost in disbelief. Shotzi definitely, I, I, I bet money on it, brought that door to Mexico City, or at least stole it from the locker room. Raquel Rodriguez, she just brought a damn shot, a flip-flop, whatever the yeah, hell you want to call it into this matchup. Anything goes, straight fight rules. Shotzi taking down the champion. Shotzi daydreaming a bit about being a thorn in her side. I should say being a thorn in the side of Raquel Rodriguez for months. Well, a chance to finally stick it to her for good. Oh no, it's Shotzi, let's get serious here. Getting that table and setting it up in the ring. This could spell disaster for either a woman, but Shotzi may not need it. Stack it up, Raquel. 
and almost had the champion beat. But Raquel Rodriguez showing why she earned the championship last month at Battleground. Oh, Raquel down and out and a senton by a former two-time champion in her own right. Take nothing away from Shotzi. At one point in time, almost two years ago, was fighting the likes of Bianca Belair and Asuka and at one point defeated both of those women in respective matches to earn her own women's championship. Raquel Rodriguez, the top dog in 2024, and Shotzi is finding that out the hard way. Fall away, neck breaker. A ballsy badass maybe seeing stars. Maybe wonder if she's in Mexico City or New Mexico in the United States. Down goes the ballsy badass once more, and the women's world champion has got something in mind, sending Shotzi into the table. Better be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. Scoop and a slam. The ballsy badass explodes the wood. Raquel Rodriguez. Going for up to Hanabam. In front of 50,000 strong. A huge homecoming for the women's world champion. Well, a personal issue between these two women over the last few months certainly led to an exciting street fight here in Mexico City. Raquel at an all-time high as one of the faces of Friday Night SmackDown. She now looks ahead to EO Sky a week from tomorrow where she defends her Women's World Championship. This past Monday Night on Raw, we saw the badass Braun Breaker stepping out of the shadow of the spotlight of the megastar LA Knight to move on to the semifinal. And in the main event, we saw the second city state, CM Punk, outlasting the numbers of the Judgment Day, taking down Dirty Dominic Mysterio and putting him to sleep in the quarterfinal round. And we now know that coming up a week from tomorrow, the Raw side of the semifinals are set for the first time ever. Meaner than evil, Braun Breaker takes on the self-proclaimed best in the world, CM Punk. We of course know that Cody Rhodes is moving on, but who will meet him there? We find out right now. It was last fall that the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, outlasted four rounds of the Cruiserweight Classic to win that very tournament. Ken Dragunov be on his way to winning yet another tournament, the biggest of them all, the King of the Ring. He could move one step closer here tonight in Mexico City. They call him the Mad Dragon, the Czar. He is a former NXT United Kingdom champion, a former Intercontinental champion, and a former Cruiserweight champion. But as of late, Ilya Dragunov is looking to step out into the wolves, if you will, here on Friday Night SmackDown and take the next step. It was last week that he survived a beating from the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Dragunov took everything that the Great White had and was able to come out on the other side as the victor. But tonight the task gets even heavier as a pissed off Scottish warrior is looking to annihilate anybody in his way to getting back the World Heavyweight Championship. Respect may be there, but it goes out the window when Drew McIntyre has his eyes set at once again obtaining the gold that he held for over 200 days last year. Certainly beautiful sights here at Estadio Azteca 
but things are about to get down right ugly. And his opponent, Blair Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre! For 267 days in 2023, Drew McIntyre waved the flag of the blue brand as the world heavyweight champion. But ever since he lost that title back in November, McIntyre has been laser focused on obtaining it back. Several bumps in the road have led to multitudes of frustration for Drew McIntyre, and he has certainly rubbed a lot of people in the locker room and maybe even the WWE Universe the wrong way. McIntyre returned to action last week after a brief hiatus and marching through the United States champion Ricochet in the first round of this tournament. McIntyre does not give a damn who stands across the ring. He looks at you as nothing but a roadblock. McIntyre knows what awaits the winner of the King of the Ring, a main event clash with your brand's world champion at SummerSlam. McIntyre is thriving for that opportunity. Well, here we go. Bell has sounded in this first time ever matchup in what should be an extraordinary hard-hitting collision between the man dragon Ilya Dragunov and the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. Obvious size differential between these two men. McIntyre no doubt the strongest, but take nothing away from Ilya Dragunov. If you've seen Ilya Dragunov train over social media, then you know there is some downright brute strength throughout that body of Dragunov. And when he kicks into that gear, nothing is stopping the Mad Dragon from beating anyone, no matter the size, between the ropes. This is a man who, of course, held the Cruiserweight Championship from Survivor Series in November, all the way up to Battleground last month. Won the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament back in the fall of last year, a former Intercontinental Champion. Ilya Dragunov has found himself a constant winner, a player here in the WWE. If he wants to take the next step and try to challenge for the world title, it's nights like tonight that make or certainly break you. And McIntyre is looking to do the latter, looking to break the spirit of the Czar live and in living color. Drew McIntyre has not been the same man since he lost that World Heavyweight Championship on November the 19th of last year to the ring general Gunther. Coming up short in the main event of WrestleMania did not do McIntyre any favors. With the matchup with Roman Reigns at Backlash in April, another tough loss for McIntyre. One that sent him on a five, six week hiatus here on SmackDown. And an attempt to get his head on straight and refocus on what the task was. McIntyre coming back, obviously looking in the best shape of his life, looking laser focused, and the task remains the same, get back the World Heavyweight Championship. But what a discount Ilya Dragunov, but the odds may be stacked against the Dragon here tonight. Drew McIntyre, you want to talk about brute strength. McIntyre, pound for pound, one of the strongest that the WWE has to offer. Don't call this man a Scottish warrior for nothing. During his 267 days as world champion, McIntyre turned away the likes of Seth Rollins, Braun Breaker, Edge, Randy Orton, John Cena, among others. And now McIntyre is just looking to get back to the promised land. And I'm sure there's a part of McIntyre that hopes that he can not only win the King of the Ring tournament, but hopes that Gunther is still the world champion the time we get to SummerSlam. I'm sure in McIntyre's mind, it's not just about becoming world champion again, but it's about proving he can defeat the man who has been his kryptonite, the Ring General, your current world heavyweight champion. No matter the desires of Drew McIntyre, he's just gonna have to take things one step at a time, and that includes here tonight. And what right now has been systematically a pick apart of the bones of Ilya Dragunov. And you gotta wonder how much Dragunov has in the tank coming out of that physical fight with the Celtic warrior Sheamus last week. Sheamus ditched out a hell of a lot of offense for Dragunov. 
Ilya was able to survive in the end and stack some of his biggest maneuvers to aid him in victory. But that may be all she wrote. Glasgow kiss, thanks for coming. Maybe not just yet. Drag it off, able to get the shoulder up. We said it before, we'll say it again. We cannot discount Ilya Drag it off by any means. No matter how beat up physically Ilya Dragunov is, this is a man who is well documented to thrive off the pain between the ropes. And if Dragunov can channel that energy and do that again, he may come up with the biggest upset of his career tonight. We saw moments ago the strength on display. Ilya Dragunov not to be discounted just in terms of the size and strength of this matchup, once again on display. German into the bridge, unable to hold it, as McIntyre almost kipping up in the means of that kick out. Here's Dragunov just trying to get back into this matchup here. Big time uppercut in the corner. Ilya Dragunov, as we talked about last week on SmackDown, got very used to Challenging people his own size and strength in between the ropes and the means of the cruiserweight division. Many have said that Dragunov damn near may have been the strongest in the cruiserweight division, but now stepping out into different waters, Dragunov is finding out that there's a lot of wolves that are looking to eat here on Friday Night SmackDown, and McIntyre may be at the head of the pack. Off the middle buckle, and those tree trunk-like legs of McIntyre just squashing, literally, Ilya on the canvas. Just when you think Dragunov was back into this, Drew McIntyre changes the direction. And once again, is back into this beat-down mentality. Saw last week on SmackDown, the United States Champion Ricochet trying to do what he does best, soar around the skies, inside the ring, outside of it. And even though Ricochet brought his best, it was not enough to keep down a well-rested and hungry for competition, Drew McIntyre. One play more kick was all she wrote. And it may be all she wrote if McIntyre has his way again tonight with the Tsar Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov trying to create some distance on the outside. Crash and burn, nobody home. Overzealous was Drew McIntyre as he tried to go over the top rope and Dragunov sidestepped him. A simple reversal is gonna take a hell of a lot out of McIntyre. A crash landing that he did not want to see. Now here's Dragunov off the apron. A misstep by the Scottish Warrior could come back to be his own detriment as Dragunov now in hot pursuit. Back inside the ring we go. Ripcord elbow into the cover. Dragunov hoping for success. Not just yet, McIntyre still in this matchup. William Dragunov, I'm sure, knows what he's up against tonight. We rattled off some of the names that McIntyre turned away in his World Championship run earlier in this matchup. Hall of Fame level superstars. And if McIntyre can defeat those names, well, what is it going to take for Ilya Dragunov to defeat Drew McIntyre? The odds are stacked against the Mad Dragon tonight. McIntyre back on his feet. I don't know what Ilya's got in mind, but he better be careful because McIntyre can flip the switch damn near whatever he wants. Dragunov trying to create some distance. Oh, wow, massive Uranagi. Great strength being shown. But only a one count that time. Ilya Dragunov unable to even find a two, I believe, in this matchup thus far, but still, you gotta give credit where credit's due. The Man Dragon continues to fly around Mexico City. 50,000 strong on hand here in Estadio Azteca, witnessing a fight between McIntyre and Dragunov in the quarterfinal round of the King of the Ring Tournament. The winner of this contest will meet the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes a week from tomorrow in New Orleans, Louisiana. 
Back and forth we start to go as Dragon off and McIntyre jock for position. McIntyre back into the corner. And the man Dragon keeping it simple yet effective with a couple of bare elbows right to the jawline. Saw what it took for Ilya Dragon off to defeat Sheamus last week. But McIntyre I think has proven throughout this matchup that he is on another level. And even his close friend in the Celtic Warrior. Let's drag it off. Take it down, McIntyre again. Another crash landing is not going to go well for McIntyre as this matchup progresses. Off the apron with a senton. Ilya Dragunov trying to throw anything he can at McIntyre, even if it means putting his own body in harm's way. Just trying to keep down this pissed off Scottish warrior. McIntyre may be hell bent on winning the World Heavyweight Championship yet again, but Ilya Dragunov may surprise McIntyre if he is not careful. And just as you think, Ilya Dragunov has got this match where he wants it. Drew McIntyre, as we mentioned earlier, flips the switch in an instance. In a matter of a moment, McIntyre back into the lateral press, and he damn near almost got Dragunov. Which goes to show you how much emphasis, how much power is behind such a simple maneuver out of the corner. I'm sure Drew McIntyre has read the playbook of Ilya Dragunov time and time again over the last week preparing himself for war here tonight. But Ilya Dragunov, somebody who thrives off the battle, thrives off the war, I am sure has done the same. Off the reversal, holy hell, what a power bomb! Dragunov, gonna steal it! Not just yet, but the closest he's gotten, no doubt about it. A reversal, Dragunov lands on his feet. The power bomb. I can't believe Ilya had that in him. McIntyre, no small man, and Ilya Dragunov trying to do his damnedest to chop him down the size. Oh, wait a minute here. H-bomb! Dragunov has only pulled out that maneuver on so many occasions. We saw it last week, which aided him in victory against Sheamus. But so far, no victory to be found against Drew McIntyre. What a matchup here tonight at Super SmackDown. Ilya Dragunov trying to rally here in Mexico City, but took his eye off the Scottish Warrior. That might have been Dragunov's best ditch effort. A power bomb that I think might have surprised us all, and an H-bomb that unfortunately did not put McIntyre away. And now a gut wrench from the Scottish Warrior, and McIntyre is in prime position, looking for the Claymore, no! A sidestep, Torpedo Moscow! You gotta be kidding me, Dragunov! Contest. Oh my goodness, it's as if the, the bubble here in Mexico City was just deflated. Everybody in Estadio Azteca thought that was it. The Claymore kick missed and Dragunov hit the Torpedo Moscow. But this son of a bitch, Drew McIntyre, somehow is still in it. Man, you gotta give credit where credit's due to both of these superstars. A physical war on hand in the quarterfinal round of the King of the Ring Tournament. Drew McIntyre, who has been laser focused since November the 19th of last year on winning back his world championship. Ilya Dragunov, who is not only hungry, but is starving for competition to level up here on Friday Night SmackDown. This is where men are made in this industry. Drag it off with whatever's left. Scaling the ropes and dropping a knee on a wounded warrior. Another lateral press, but as Dragunov showed his best cards in this matchup already. And we saw a big Uranagi from Ilya Dragunov. The power bomb, the H-bomb, the torpedo Moscow, he's hit it all. And McIntyre's still into this. 
To the outside we go, and I don't know what Ilya Dragunov's got in mind. He is in a good spot, I would say, right now. McIntyre is obviously hurt, but so is Ilya Dragunov. The outside of the ring, Dragunov trying to use his surroundings to his advantage. Barricade shot to the spine. Now sent time at ringside. McIntyre is down and out. Ilya Dragunov racking his brain to try to find the answer to winning this matchup. Charges at McIntyre. Drew stopped him dead in his tracks and ragdolls him back inside the ring. I think McIntyre's had enough of this contest. Well, Dragunov picking the ankles. Go for the pinfall here. He got him! He got him! Oh my goodness! One mistake, one misstep, cost McIntyre the King of the Ring Tournament. The biggest win of Ilya Dragunov's young career. Here is your winner, Ilya Dragunov. There has got to be some brackets that were just busted. Ilya Dragunov threw it all at McIntyre. McIntyre survived, but one misstep. Dragunov saw an opportunity, pulled the rug out from underneath the warrior, and capitalized. The man dragon is soaring through the skies on the way to the semifinal. Well, it has been a night we will never forget here at Estadio Azteca in Mexico City, Mexico for Super SmackDown. But of course, all roads lead to a week from tomorrow in New Orleans, Louisiana. We are live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2024 King of the Ring. And as we found out moments ago, the SmackDown side of the semifinals is officially confirmed. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, meets the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, who will punch their ticket to the finals later that night. The winner of Cody Rhodes and Ilya Dragunov will meet the winner of Monday Night Raw's side of the semifinals in the King of the Ring bracket, Braun Breaker, CM Punk. Who will wear the crown of the king? Who will main event SummerSlam this August? We find out a week from tomorrow. The Nigerian giant Omas on Monday Night Raw has taken issue with Big Bronson Reed and certainly upset at the loss last month at Vengeance. The issues escalated and these two men meet in a bourbon street fight coming up in New Orleans. We found out earlier tonight that the genius of the sky, EO Sky, the new number one contender for Raquel Rodriguez Women's World Championship. EO Sky has been on the cusp of great things, but will she be able to win the gold at King of the Ring? On the Monday Night Raw side, the WWE Women's Championship will be on the line in a triple threat matchup as the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, defends the gold against the former champion, Liv Morgan, and the woman she screwed over in her hometown of Knoxville just a few weeks ago, Bianca Belair. The Monday Night Raw main event for the WWE Championship is a WrestleMania rematch three months in the making. The visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, looks to win back the gold that he held for the better part of a year on Monday Night Raw. He takes on Kevin Owens a week from tomorrow. And from Friday Night SmackDown, the World Heavyweight Championship set to be defended as the almighty Bobby Lashley looks to be the man to take down the Ring General, Gunther. Gunther has defeated the likes of Drew McIntyre, Edge, Brock Lesnar. Bro Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cut, cut back to the stage. Something's going on at the top of the stage. Is that that's the World Heavyweight Champion Gunther, the Almighty Bobby Lashley? What the hell is going on? Wait a minute. I'm getting word right now. Hold on a second. Well, evidently Bobby Lashley was doing an interview for WWE.com and. Guther approached, words were spewed, and now a brawl has broken out here in Estadio Azteca. Well, this was not scheduled to happen, obviously. Neither of these men set to compete for tonight, but obviously tensions riding high before their world title matchup a week from tomorrow. Well, this is a little bit uncharacteristic for Guther, not somebody who normally tries to get the edge over his opponents, but 
maybe feeling a little bit unlucky with the almighty Bobby Lashley awaiting him. Nonetheless, this brawl bleeding into the squared circle and Lashley dropping the champion with a spear. Oh man, Bobby Lashley is looking to be one hell of a threat to what has been an incredible reign as World Heavyweight Champion for the Ring General Guther. And Lashley telling Guther to give him the ring. Will that be the sight coming up at King of the Ring a week from tomorrow and now what? Randy Orton. Well, Randy Orton and Lashley have had their issues on the last few months on SmackDown, Orton dropping Lashley with an RKO. Well, I'm sure the Viper feels slighted that a victory for Bobby Lashley over Orton is really what propelled him to number one contendership. Well, obviously Orton not satisfied in a second RKO. We gotta try to refocus as chaos erupts here in Mexico City. We look towards next week at the Humphrey Coliseum in Mississippi State. 24 hours before the Women's World Championship is on the line, Roxanne Perez teams up alongside the champion Raquel Rodriguez in a 2v2 battle against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and the genius of the sky, Io Sky. And speaking of the Women's World Championship, the former champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, returns for the first time since losing the gold last month at Battleground. Shayna Baszler's back in action, and that's going down next week here on SmackDown. And as we found out earlier tonight, the Cruiserweight Championship headlines the blue brand as the Irish Devil J.D. McDonough defends the gold against a man who has put a target on his back Wesley, Retribution, and the Cruiserweight Championship hang in the balance next week. But as we get set for our main event, we take a look at the story so far. We rewind the clocks to WrestleMania Sunday three months ago in the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and in a matchup that crowned the WWE Tag Team Champions. The LWO meant A-Town down under after both teams earned their way to the grandest stage of them all. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar putting on a clinic on their side of the squared circle on that night. Unfortunately, victory was not to be. A-Town down under, walking away from Dallas on that occasion as the Tag Team Champions. Well, they have had one hell of a reign since then, but there's been a couple of bumps in the road thanks to the Latino World Order. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar have traded singles victories with Austin Theory, but I think the LWO got back in the crosshairs after that six-man tag team matchup a number of weeks ago. A-Town down under, able to turn away the challenge of Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde, but now they focus on the other half of the LWO. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar. Can A-Town down under go two for two, or is the LWO's night right here in Mexico City? It is main event time on Super Smackdown. The lights are on bright in Estadio Azteca for the biggest homecoming of them all. Santos Escobar, Rey Mysterio, the Latino World Order challenging for Tag Team Championship gold. An exciting evening leads us with a monumental main event. Escobar and Ray, as you saw in the highlights, went 2v2 against Eight Town Down Under three months ago at WrestleMania for the tag team titles. Falling short on that night and outside of some stemming issues with Alitalo Andrade, the LWO have continued to focus on earning another opportunity at the tag team titles. Escobar owns a singles victory over Austin Theory. Theory owns a singles victory over Ray. Ray, of course, pinning Austin Theory in a six-man tag team matchup last month in San Diego. A-Town down under, able to turn away Del Toro and Wild just a few weeks ago. But will they be able to have the same luck against the Emperor of the Lucha Libre as well as the Hall of Famer? You may not like A-Town Down Under, but nobody can deny the results. We are currently living through the 2024 King of the Ring Tournament. Coming down the aisle, the 2023 victor. 
Austin Theory has got a list of accolades that are certainly impressive for somebody still as young in his career. A former WWE Champion, one half of the Tag Team Champions, of course one half of the SmackDown Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic this year. Theory and Waller have put together an impressive resume. The biggest feather of their cap of this Tag Team title reign so far could come here tonight. If on enemy territory, they can turn away Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar to retain their tag team titles. Easier said than done. But if anybody can do it, A-Town Down Under may be those gentlemen. Austin Theory making his way to the squared circle, but only to be accompanied by the OCI icon, Grayson Waller. You know, this time last year, Grayson Waller was not even a part of the SmackDown brand. He made his debut back in September, challenging Cody Rhodes for the United States Championship. Grayson Waller, as well as Austin Theory, have always been attracted to success here on Friday Night SmackDown, and the success is to be shown around their waist. They have retained those titles against Alpha Academy. Axiom and Nathan Frazier, and as we mentioned, Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wilde. Add that into the series of matches that led them into winning the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, as well as the WWE Tag Team Titles. A-Town Down Under are looking like an untouchable duo as of the last few months here on SmackDown. But will their luck run out as it is main event time here in Mexico City? There is certainly some disdain in the air targeted at the Tag Team Champions, but those two men do not give a damn who they piss off, who do not like them. Young, tough, and certainly egotistical, and obviously successful are Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. But not to sound like a broken record, but the question really remains tonight. Will their luck run out, or will this be the biggest feather in their cap of their Tag Team title reign? The bell has sounded his main event time here in Mexico City. Santos Escobar trying to come hot out of the gate. May have been overzealous, and Austin Theory makes the most of it. Escobar and Rey Mysterio cannot let the environment fuel them to being overzealous and trying to be overachieving in this matchup. You just stick with what works against A-Town down under. Theory and Waller have had their backs against the wall several times throughout this tag team title reign. We saw it just a few weeks ago against the other two members of the LWO as Escobar looking to steal the victory here. Grayson Waller now to the pinfall. Waller and Theory able to get the job done time and time again by hook or by crook and retain their tag team titles. But the Latino World Order fighting on familiar soils tonight. Mysterio had a homecoming in San Diego, California, which led to a pinfall victory in a six-man tag team matchup against Austin Theory last month. Once again, a homecoming here in Mexico City. Will it favor the LWO as the tag team titles are on the line? Tilt to whirl into the leg drop, and now Escobar stacking the leg drops. Well, for an early pinfall here, I think Theory gets the shoulder up and a I meant to say, I think Santos Escobar knows he ain't going to get the victory that early, but just trying to get into the psyche of A-Town Down Under. Got to wonder what's going through the minds of Austin Theory and Grayson Waller walking into enemy territory tonight. Talked to Grayson Waller earlier today. He said he couldn't even walk around the streets of Mexico City. So many LWO shirts out there just yelling obscurities at A-Town Down Under. Not that Grayson Waller and Austin Theory care that much. They are still the tag team champions and are in control of this main event matchup. Rey Mysterio getting tagged in. 
much to the chagrin of A-Town down under. Grayson Waller not allowing a comeback in the early moments of this matchup. And this is what Theory and Waller, I'm sure, would love to do as this tag team title match progresses. Take Mexico City out of it. Completely collapse the confidence of the LWO. Keep this pace, wrestle their style of matchup. Could easily be the winning recipe to retain the tag team titles here tonight. Austin Theory, look at this, just slowing down the master of the 619, the Hall of Fame Rey Mysterio, with that knee to the back, and Mysterio takes out said knee. Ain't gonna be using that submission hold if he ain't got a knee to implore it. And now Rey Mysterio send it Austin Theory over the top rope, creating a little bit of distance. Austin Theory looking dazed and confused. Ray going for a cross body this time. Did not get all of it. Maybe a little miscommunication there between the LWO. Mysterio wanted the cross body. Escobar may have been looking to get Theory back inside the ring. The LWO cannot allow that tonight. A rare misstep between Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio. Mysterio just trying to shake the cobwebs off with Austin Theory. Calls himself Big Body Theory, and he's showing us why right there with that powerful lariat. Those are the mistakes that the LWO cannot afford. They may be feeling the pressure tonight to not disappoint in front of this capacity crowd here in Estadio Azteca. They also cannot be overzealous. They need to be focused on the task at hand. Cannot allow missteps like we just saw to hand the momentum of this tag team title match back on a silver platter to A-Town down under. Grayson Waller better keep his eye on the ball or Rey Mysterio is going to make him pay. Waller under the ropes of Mysterio with a flapjack. Rey Mysterio's got, never has the size on his size, but he may have a little bit of strength. Down goes the Aussie icon momentarily. Mysterio starting to rev up the engines. A fast paced style will certainly aid the LWO in this contest. Beautiful moonsault. And only the one count that time. Senior referee Charles Robinson on the call here tonight for this high profile tag team matchup. Grayson Waller set literally in enemy territory. Mysterio going to the top. The LWO working like a well oiled machine. Frankensteiner caught into the power bomb. And only a one count that time, but you gotta believe the wind taken out of Grayson Waller's sails. Now Escobar going behind once more. Grayson Waller may have been surviving right there, a couple of kickouts, but obviously damage done. And this is what the Latino World Order need to do. Push the pace, wrestle their style of matchup, and continue to rally Mexico City behind them. The icon knows that. Look at that. Once again, just trying to take the audience out of this contest. Become a non-entity. Tag made Austin Theory. Theory going behind and dropping Santos Escobar right on his crown. Santos owns a pinfall victory in singles contest over Austin Theory, dating back to the month of April on SmackDown. Austin Theory has not forgotten. And looking to dish it right back to the Emperor of Lucha Libre tonight, a former three-time Cruiserweight Champion, looking to win his first tag team gold. Tag back to Grayson Waller, Santos Escobar trying to crawl to Rey Mysterio, does not have his wits about him, and Grayson Waller gonna take advantage! Blockbuster on Prettier! A signature maneuver of Waller, which could have retained in the titles there, had Rey Mysterio not been on the soles of his boots. One of Waller's best maneuvers that have aided A-Town down under in victory on numerous occasions. A Mysterio able to break things up, but Austin Theory now looking to bring this matchup to a conclusion. Could have been a knockout blow. Dropped right on the knee. And Santos is still in it. A-Town down under thought they had this matchup done. The Tag Team Championship still in their carry-ons, but Santos Escobar still with some fight left in him. Tag back to Grayson Waller. A-Town down under trying to keep each other fresh in this contest. 
Oh, the Lax Hammer right to the spine. Nothing pretty about it, but certainly effective. Santos into the ropes. Oh, man, Grayson Waller getting caught. Looked like he could have been going for that pop-up stunner. Santos Escobar caught him with a mini kick. And now Escobar knocks Theory off the apron. A shot for Grayson Waller as well. The Emperor of Lucha Libre trying to come alive. Fighting with his back against the wall in A-Town down under territory. Oh, wait a minute. Canadian Destroyer from the north all the way to the south. Escobar into the cover. Oh, and Austin Theory breaking things up just in the nick of time. Santos Escobar, incredible performance right there to rally out of the corner. A-Town down under in firm control until that reversal by Escobar. You see that time Mysterio and Escobar on the same page. Santos not rushing out. Mysterio bringing Grayson Waller back between the ropes where they know they can win the tag team titles. A little bit of an R&R &R for Grayson Waller that time. Escobar needed it just as much, but it's Waller who gets the upper hand. Santos Escobar might have had just a little bit left in the tank. Tag made to Austin Theory. Much needed tag to the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio and Austin Theory catches him. Mysterio trying to breathe some new life for the LWO into this main event clash. Austin Theory looking to avoid it. Rey Mysterio creating some distance that time. Rey Mysterio has proven time and time again throughout his career to never doubt the biggest underdog to ever do it. Theory and Rey jockeying for position in the opposite corner right now. Austin Theory just trying to use his power to his advantage. But look at Rey Mysterio, scale on the ropes. Look down goes Austin Theory off the boots. Mysterio finding a way out of the corner by exploding onto the scene. Austin Theory getting his egg scrambled that time and now getting sent to the outside here at Estadio Azteca. Rey Mysterio's wheels are a spinning. And through the ropes he goes. Theory may be seeing stars off that delivery. And now Ray going for it. Oh man, cross by to the outside and caught just enough of it to take down Austin Theory again. Mysterio may have this matchup in his grasp. Theory back into the ring. Springboard, frog splash to the lower back. Ray Mysterio to win the tag team titles for the LWO. Not just yet, Grayson Waller breaking things up. A look at Mysterio, looking to take out the trash. Down goes Austin Theory, or should say Grayson Waller on the outside. And Austin Theory's looking worse for wear in his own corner with no partner to tag. Rey Mysterio may have this matchup. It's the best the LW has looked so far, not if Austin Theory has got anything to say about it. Much to the chagrin of this Mexico City audience. Oh no, oh no. Buckle bomb the Mysterio. And now Theory hurrying up. Into the pinfall there, but Rey Mysterio's not done just yet. The LWO did not make the trip back to home soil just to fall short, but Theory and Waller may force them to do so. Again, Rey Mysterio kicks out. Austin Theory trying to keep his foot on the gas pedal. Could be looking for eight town down under. Rey Mysterio not avoiding it. Or I should say not allowing it. Absolutely avoiding it. And now dropping Theory right at his dome once more. The LWO going to continue to fight until their final breath. Theory and Waller winning the championships back in WrestleMania by spoiling the grandest stage of the dreams for Latino World Order. Rey and Santos Escobar not looking to revisit that again. Tag made to Escobar, a little double team action here. Oh, wait a minute, Theory on the shoulders. Down he goes off the Phantom Driver. New tag team champions, this is gonna do it. Not just yet, Austin Theory still alive. And Theory, inside cradle. No, no. Oh, man. 
How many moments just in the last few minutes did you think it was it? Did you think the tag team titles were either going to stay with A-Town down under or move to new holders? It's a hell of a main event clash and certainly is proving to be Theory and Waller's toughest challenge to date. Escobar and Ray at the top of their game, looking maybe even better than they did at WrestleMania Sunday. Grayson Waller sending Santos back into the corner. Escobar trying to create some distance here. In Sagari, Grayson Waller may think he's back in the States. Or maybe for him, back in Australia, we should say. Grayson Waller, look at this. Unloading on Escobar. Harry and Waller have turned away Escobar and Ray in the past. Gotta believe they are confident enough to do it again tonight. Even if the environment calls for a Latino World Order victory, Theory and Waller have never been two men to give the capacity audience what they want. They do things their way, and it has aided them time and time again. Austin Theory once again tagged in. And now we are starting to see a systematic pick apart of the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Into the ropes goes Escobar, and the power game of Theory aids him that time. Santos down and out, and Austin Theory uncharacteristically is heading to the top rope. What has he got in mind here? Going for a splash, does not work out for him. Escobar sneaks a pinfall in there. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 that, I thought that was a three, come on now! Oh, Theory with the kick out, I don't know, man, I thought that was a three count for Santos Escobar. Nonetheless, the matchup rolls on, I ain't gonna question Charles Robinson officiating here, but that was a hell of a close call. It was 2.9 if I ever saw it. Grayson Waller nonetheless tagged back in as we are getting into some championship rounds, some deep waters in this tag team tunnel of matchup. Obviously fatigue starting to set in. Santos Escobar gets a much needed tag in my eyes to the master of the 619, the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio. It's the springboard and takes Waller down once more. Hard to find some sustained momentum in this tag team matchup over the last few minutes. Might come down to who gets that true final blow with enough behind it. Who wants it more? Austin Theory getting tagged in. Wait a minute here. Mysterio. Right here in Mexico City. Looking to pay homage to the late great Eddie Guerrero with a three amigos. How apropos would it be if this is how Mysterio wins gold for the Latino World Order? Not to be just yet, but you gotta believe certain damage was done. Theory off the reversal that time. Oh man, oh man, I thought that was it off the three amigos. Mysterio in 2005 held the WWE Tag Team Championships with the Hall of Famer, Eddie Guerrero. Now back here in Mexico City, how apropos would it have been if Mysterio put Theory away with the three amigos? And the reversal that time, Theory and Rey Mysterio just battling back and forth at the current moment. Austin Theory on spaghetti legs at ringside, and Mysterio getting all of that crossbody. But a couple of times throughout this matchup where Mysterio just caught Theory enough, and what the hell was that? That's what I'm talking about with A-Town down under. Any cheap shot, anything they can do to get an edge. Well, Mysterio ain't gonna take that one lying down. Knocking Theory, or I should say knocking Waller off the apron, and Theory taking advantage. Mysterio got to get this fight back inside the ring. Referee's at a count of seven. This thing ends in a count out. A-Town down under will retain the tag team titles. Theory back inside the ring. You got to believe there's a part of Theory and Waller who want to make sure they get an emphatic victory tonight. Leave no stone unturned and no questions asked. But Mysterio with a different game plan. Dial up the cell phones. Here we go. Six, one, nine. In front of 50,000 strong, 
Here in Mexico City, the 619 to Austin Theory delivers. Mysterio now scaling the ropes, awaiting Austin Theory to get to the soles of his boots for whatever he's got in mind. Oh no, look at this. Oh! Damn! Thought Mysterio might have been going for a West Coast pop variation. Theory catching him with a power bomb. Waller tagged in, Santos Escobar tagged in. Who's gonna get the edge? Escobar creating some distance. And again, south of the border, goes Escobar and delivers a big time driver to Grayson Waller. And again, we see a near fall. These two teams aren't gonna have anything left. I'm gonna talk about Fight until the final blow, look no further. Escobar taking out Theory. Grayson Waller barely getting to his feet, but brought right back down to size by Santos. And anybody who tuned in to WrestleMania Sunday, you know what a match it was in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals between those two duos. They may be topping it here tonight. Who wants it more? The stakes couldn't be any higher on one of the biggest SmackDowns of all time. Oh, and Grayson Waller, see, exposing the turnbuckle that time. And now he's got his eyes on a weakened Santos. And Grayson Waller with a Topeka Elo over the top rope. I can't believe I'm saying it, but credit where credit's due to the Aussie icon. Some springs in his boots tonight. If that doesn't show you how bad A-Town Down Under wants to retain the tag team titles, then I don't know what will. But he fails to capitalize, and Escobar does. Theory tagged in, Santos might have gotten caught. Theory laying out Santos Escobar. That's gonna do it. Tag team titles stay with A-Town down under. Rey Mysterio breaks up the pinfall. Now Theory looking to get rid of Rey. Oh no. A-Town down under, maybe looking to divide and conquer. Rey Mysterio getting dropped right on the hardest part of the ring. And Santos brought in by Grayson Waller. And now Austin Theory looking to pick the bones of Santos, who has received so much offense by A-Town down under throughout this matchup. Wait a minute. Never cut him out. A second Phantom Driver to retain the gold. Oh, Grayson Waller breaking things up, and he might have caught some of Charles Robinson that time. On the left, Santos Escobar taking, taking care of Grayson Waller. Escobar scaling the ropes. He's feeling froggy. Charles, count the pin. Here we go. Viva La Raza. The Latino World Order have won the Tag Team Titles right here in Estadio Azteca, Mexico City, Mexico, in the main event of Super SmackDown Live. What a match and what a hard fought victory. And with an homage to the late, great Eddie Guerrero, what better way to win the tag team titles in the biggest homecoming that Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio could have ever imagined. A three-month journey of earning a title shot. They reap the rewards of it tonight. Your new tag team champions, the Latino World Order.